What's going on everybody? I'm Linko and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So far so good. This game has been really fun. These last couple episodes I thought were really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to where the story's going for sure. Uh, we're about to go talk to Professor Fig. Uh, just real quick, you know, 1,000 subscribers, giveaway. Three $100 gift codes. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed. Um, well, this is awkward. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. Oh, I thought it that was the headmaster for a second. Unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Appreciate you noticing me, bro. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? That's right. But how? Because I'm a Thinking beast. It, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Let's take a gander. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It's it no appears good. someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Right, we had a vision. Pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those She's memories? gotta be evil. Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? You got eight by dragon. How much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Sweet. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I'm not gonna neglect my friends. Nice. Oh, we got mail. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. They can send voice messages? Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay. Now he just sent you an owl post requesting to meet you in Lower Hogsfield, a hamlet. Okay. World map. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, uh, limiting what you can see. Okay. Hamlets are small uh, communities throughout the world. This is the Hamlet, Lower Hogsfield. The Hamlets provide new opportunities, vendors, Foo Flames, side quests, and collectibles. Okay. Cool. As you explore, you remove the fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like Hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. 
Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please oh, nice. complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. Well, um, let's see here. Let's go quests. So it looks like attend herbology class is suggested as what we do first, but I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't matter what order we do these in. Since this is a level three required and this is level four, let's go ahead and knock out the level three first. So that is our destination. Let's go to the map. I'm sure we can fast travel there. Oh, we don't have a food flame. Well. Let's go to the central hall and see if we can get there a little quicker that way. I heard that someone called. Harry Pippin certainly oh. steered me right with that wound cleaning potion. Oh, there were, there's the stairs. Oh, I guess it was leading us the other way. Revelio. Oh, thought that might have been something. It was not. Foo Flame. How nice to see you, my young. Yeah, you too. She growing pungus onion again. Begin quest. So this is a class we have not been to yet. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. Is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Okay. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> oh, they're gonna scream. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils. Oh, okay, and I remember. I remember this from the movies. Oh, it shatters glass. Damn! Okay. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Oh, uh, well, that's one way to do it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You okay, we got some dittany. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I was I nearly went deaf. I also we enjoyed Actually, it. I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. 
I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Sweet. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. I. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fun. Litany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in potting the table and what? As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. All right, so Dittany, grow time is ten minutes. Okay. Okay, cool. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. Wiganweld. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're let in them the have other a good house. chomping. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Fair enough. Well, I guess he had an interaction before I, I used the potting table. The weeds possess their own... Brocket. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hmm. Are you, are you Pruitt? The best time to plant a no. seed is last season. The second best time is now. Fair enough. Okay, so I need to head that way. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade. Oh, you're Pruitt. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Cool. Let's go. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just now. See that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Hang on. I'm going to grab all these. Hold L1 and tap R uh, to open a tool wheel to and assign Chinese cabbages. Okay. Oh. Cool. Look at that. Oh, come on, anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My hmm. kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could come in handy. Sure, that was just a dummy. I'm, I'm imagining it already. I'll say I suppose they can come in I handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You right. can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Alright, man. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, so we got a wheel here. That's cool. Sweet. What does O of three mean? It looks like I have seven of them, but O of three. Oh, we got, oh, we can stock up. What's through here? I can't go through there. What is that? Revelio. 
Okay, another fill guy page. Deriggable plums. I'm I'm assuming I butchered that. This orange reddish like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Okay. Well, we got the field guide page. Sweet. Okay, we're going over her. Seeds take time to grow. Return to the party table in her body classroom to harvest later. Still got five minutes. Hang on, can I interact with anybody? Well, the one thing I'll say about lack of interaction with NPCs is it will save you some time from like talking to every single person to see if you can get any information out of them. You know who you need to talk to, so. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. What's she trying to say to me? Magical plants have so nice. much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Mm -hmm. I bet you do. All right, we got through herbology class. Oh, we're just shy of level seven. Well, we must first understand it. Oh, hey. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Hmm. I think he's all right. All right, so we have the flu flame, so we can adventure, are we? so we can fast travel here anytime we want. Nice. So we got next attend potions class. That is a level four potions class. It is. We'll do everything inside Hogwarts, and then we'll venture out to uh, where Natty is. Let's go. Follow the book. This looks like the location from Levy Aura's or there we go. someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. People don't like the headmaster. I saw an aura about it on Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Goblin Rebellion. All right, let's start up potions. Potions is one of the most oh. challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. This was the dude talking to Fig. this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's Ravenclaw. class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. He struggles to walk. What is wrong? You never with him? know when you might need it. Please begin. Yeah, I'm all about learning how to brew healing potions. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. 
Please be Christ meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Four drops, five drops. Now we're going to have to stir it up. Well, at least they don't force you to do extensive button presses and stuff like that. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Appreciate and it. from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Edurus. Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Right. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. Well, we gotta go to his office. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Oh, does she get cut off? My Wiganweld potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. It's fair enough. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Yeah, we'll have to go back to uh, herbology class and get what we planted after this. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Oh, you're a Weasley? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, what are you scheming? anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Thwooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll do it. I'll get you the Thwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Thwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Hopefully whatever he's brewing will benefit me in the future. A well-prepared witch or wizard always. So is this trying to say we're in 1875? Is that the year? Like, is this a recent document? Hmm. I don't even know, like... Revelio. What ingredients I'm supposed to be grabbing. I know I gotta get that feather. Oh, there's the feather. I mean, I'm gonna grab everything I can, so. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! I hope this you don't do it now. Brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Aye. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? Potion station oh, no, lock, so nice. We got one buck. All right. So endurance potion. Okay, so we gotta wait 24 seconds. 
Two and one. Thunder brew. Okay. And well, I hope. Mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Is he gonna blow up? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it. Get it. Oh. Well. What happened? What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Again. Oh, Mr. wow. Weasley did not Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it. I ah, cut him off, dang it. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Through chaos. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In right. addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Fair enough. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go back to herbology because we need to... Uh, we need to get what we were planting. Well, yeah. Can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. So I've heard. Okay, so it'll just keep it'll just keep doing it. Alright. Well, hopefully, as far as the potions go, I mean I know it was only like 30 seconds or something like that, but hopefully it'll allow you to get more than you know, create more than one bottle at a time. So. Alright, where are we off to next? We have meet with, uh... Meet with Natty it is, I believe. We do have cross wands. And combination practice. I'll probably do that after we meet with Natty. So let's make this our quest. So let's go Hogwarts. And then over here. And this flu flame. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so let's make our way down to where Natty's at in Hogs Field. What are those balloons? Are they balloons? Well, I'm pretty happy we get to experience the open world. Do we take fall damage? Wah! We do take fall damage, okay. Coo coo. Make our way down to this hut. So we got in here, oh, we got some pumpkins. Boom! Hello? Anybody home? We have ourselves a chest. 41 bucks, nice, noise. 
Revelio. Okay, field guide page, nice. Groundskeeper's tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of uh, furnishings for a cozy hut as large as the occupant may need. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, sack. $39. We'll take that. Anything else in here of value? I got a door. Oh, just leads outside. It's bright. What's behind here? Oh, no, just go. Yeah, there you go. All right. What might this be? Horkum juice. I hope I said that correctly. So, let's try to use Accio on this thing. Accio. Did I do it right? This looks like it could be a cave or something. We'll try to hit it with fire. Incendium. All right, that didn't do anything either. Hmm. Okay. And what might this be? Revelio. Accio. Let me out. Okay, so it disappeared and went back up here. But this door opened somehow. Okay. Now, if we put this here, will it light the cave? I don't know. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, it'll be all right. We'll be okay. But I am happy I was right about it being a cave. Tony Stark built this in a cave with scraps. Gold trim. Don't tell me that's all that's here. Revelio. Is that all it was? It's a little disappointing. Well, well, let's get those, what I'm assuming is crafting components, moonstone, heck yeah, we'll take them. All right, making progress. I was halted by a branch. Just looking to see if there's anything of interest over here. That's just the waterfall, okay. Uh, that looks like a cave to me. Let's go check it out. Yeah, swim faster. I'm trying. Got another waterfall. Oh, yes. All right. Incendio. Well. That's not what I meant to do. Hmm. 
This looks like a pedestal of some kind. Do I need to place something on it to open the door? Hmm. Revelio. I got nothing out of that. Okay. Well, this might be somewhere we need to come back to. When I have more spells. Oh. Got animals. We're gonna move forward with the uh, quest. We're not far from uh, Natty now. So. Looks like he runs kind of weird, don't he? Oh, there she is. It is good to see you, my friend. And it is good to see you. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I can't say. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. They're welcome. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Cool. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. This could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. All right, she decided I want to take the whole, whole, whole thing down. I'll be on my guard. On another adventure. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I you never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. What's up, bro? Are you side quest? Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd Sorry best to look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. My Say what? Cards, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Let me get your paintings back. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now, but they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Right. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel un. Touchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Your paintings you were, were taken. I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. 
I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It's very it convenient. Was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> it's very convenient. under better circumstances. Right. It's very convenient that he knew the exact place that his cart was. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. They must have come this way. Think. Who y'all looking for? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Do we got some Oi, bandit mages? The devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be so. <laughs> Enough out of you. I can do that. Leave her alone. Wow. I refuse to be treated as a stupendous. Got those. Boom, son. What was that? Dropped him. That's a cool entrance, bro. Light go out of your eyes. The collection section of your field guide has been updated with new enemy type. Uh, you may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weakness to certain spells. Okay, cool. I see you. Hang on, we can go with them off. I'm not going anywhere with you. Boom! Incendio! Oh, how do I how do I drink a potion? Just wait till I come down. Oh, I didn't mean to use my ancient magic, but I did turn him into a chicken. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. That's right, I'm a beast. Care to Thank tell you. me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Appreciate well, it. You've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, Priya. my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in mm. Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff. Brilliant potioner. Has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Okay. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary. I thought Merlin was a myth. Let's do that. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Hmm. How I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. 
no one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. Okay. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet. Mallow Sweet. Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if the Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols? Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Yeah, sure. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. A trunk chocked full. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Okay. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. We got dark Place quick. the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Hogwarts looks pretty sweet at night. That's cool. That's cool. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. They go. What should I do now? Hmm. This is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Do we light them? Incendio. Merlin's beard. The flames make the pyre sink. There we go. Noise. How beautiful. Sweet. What a day. I can hardly believe it. What do I get for that's the question? What's my reward? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Cool, cool, cool. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You too. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. All right. So do we not? OK. I see how you're traveling. So do we not get a reward until we unlock all the all these? Maybe that is it. it. It did get dark pretty quick though. Let's go talk to this person. Another side quest, I assume. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Yes, you may beseech me. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath. Pinch Smedley's? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You uh -huh. see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Mm. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help Imagine. retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. She's in I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Mm. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. 
A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. Mm. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. Nope. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. So you want me to dive into this black lake where your grandparents went missing on a boat? Sounds fair. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. That is I true. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Oh, of that's worth it. Of course, you may discover it. much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I bet it would. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Well, I do want to know what it's like to dive and see what's out there in the lake, so we may we may check that out, but that will be in the next episode because we're going to wrap this one up right here. Thank you, everybody, checking these out. I really appreciate it. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Please drop a like on the video. That would be absolutely awesome. It is starting to rain. Yeah, so I appreciate it. Thank you all. Remember, 1,000 subscribers. Going to be doing a giveaway, three $100 gift codes. All you have to do is be subscribed to enter, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.